Hey guys, my name is Brian Skinny from SecretsOfSushi.com and this video is Seafood Fraud and the Red Snapper. Seafood fraud is a term used when trying to describe the mislabeling of seafood in the United States. You guys may have heard in the past few years about the Seafood Fraud Survey, a nonprofit organization called Oceana recently conducted the largest seafood fraud study to date, spanning from 2010 to 2012. Several researchers and volunteers took 1,200 samples and tested their DNA to see what they were actually eating. Those 1,200 samples came from 674 different retail stores, restaurants, and sushi bars across 21 states. And what they found was pretty surprising. The average results stated that one in three fish were mislabeled and that the most common culprits were the snapper and the tuna. Which shouldn't be too surprising because there are over a dozen different types of snapper out there and there are at least half a dozen different types of tuna. The study shows that 87% of snapper was mislabeled while 59% of tuna was mislabeled, giving us a national average of 44% of all retail locations, restaurants, and sushi bars have at least one mislabeled fish. At the end of the two-year study, there were two facts that were surprising. One was that 90% of all seafood consumed in the U.S. is imported. And two is that less than 1% of that imported seafood is actually tested to see if the label matches what's in the package. So I know a lot of people are probably thinking, why is this important? Who cares if I'm getting tilapia as opposed to red snapper? Well, there's three main reasons. The first reason is that nobody likes to get ripped off. There's an obvious price difference between a tilapia and say a blue green snapper. The second reason is that sometimes these fish that are being sold as other fish can have negative health consequences. For example, the white tuna, also known as albacore tuna, is commonly mislabeled and is actually being sold as escalar, which as some of you may know, escalar is considered the laxative fish due to a type of oil that's contained within the meat, whereas if you eat too much of it, you will have a laxative-based result. Obviously, no one wants that. The third reason is for sustainability issues. The red snapper became wildly popular in the 70s and 80s, but since then has had some fairly strict management due to their decreasing populations. But despite the fact that the U.S. coast has management regulations put in place, we still haven't seen a positive bounce back from the populations. The most common types of fish that are commonly sold as red snapper include tilapia, rockfish, and ocean perch. So what can we do about fish mislabeling? Well, there are a few things. First of all, make sure you ask your fishmonger, your server, or your sushi chef questions, such as, what kind of fish is that? Where did it come from? How long ago was it caught? And was it raised in a farm or caught in the wild? Another thing you can do is check the price. I can't think of any of the situations where the term it's too good to be true is more applicable than this one. No one's gonna sell you bluefin tuna at wholesale price. Sorry. Another thing you can do is to purchase the whole fish. One of the biggest problems with seafood mislabeling is that it's increasingly difficult to identify types of white fish after it's already been cut into fillets. But if we can see the whole fish, it's much easier to identify that the fish you're purchasing is the one that's on the label. And the last thing you can do is to download the Seafood Watch app from the App Store or Google Play. The Seafood Watch app is a free application you can download to help you guys identify sustainable and reliable sources of seafood. They even have an entire section dedicated exclusively to sushi. The app is easy to navigate and it's honestly pretty fun to use and you can learn a lot of interesting stuff from the app. So I highly recommend downloading it. My name is Brian Skinney from SecretsOfSushi.com and sustainable is how I roll. Hey everyone, my name is Brian Skinney from SecretsOfSushi.com and I wanted to let you guys know the month of October is officially being deemed the Sustainable Seafood Month by the Monterey Bay Seafood Watch program. And now that I am an educational partner 